Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Denasia. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of the DCM family. So today we're looking at a home for lease in Louisville, Texas. Um, all of the details on this home will be um, in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the front door. And then it has a window seal with a super huge window right there, super high ceilings. As soon as you come in, a small chandelier. This place has a lot of natural lighting. And then you come over here, and this is the kitchen. Now the home is a smart home. They have like a little ring right there. Um, you can turn on and off the lights with the switch. And then they also have a remote that I'm just gonna show you a little bit later. But this is the kitchen area. All updated appliances, a small little island. You can put a small little dining room table right here or just a small seating area. The refrigerator. And then you have like a small little window to see outside in the backyard. The home is really well kept. And then here is the sink. Double sided form sink that you guys sometimes like. I know some people prefer those, some people don't. Um, this is the stove. Stall stainless steel appliances. Um, you have a little bit of shelving up there. So if you have little knickknacks that you like to save and you want to put into the kitchen, you can put that up there. And then here is your pantry. They already have the little stuff on there for you. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can put your own. But yeah, here's the kitchen. This is a two level home. It is a two car garage right in here. See, you have two garages. So you have a two car garage. And it looks like they were painting and doing some repairs. Smells like it. Um, and then right here you have a little storage, but it also is a cloak clo coat closet. And then here is your living area. You do have a fireplace, a wood burning fireplace. It's not a fake one. You have a lot of natural lighting, big windows. And then this lighting right here, you could put your dining room table or family room table, whatever right here. It is enough space. And then they did cut it off while you can see the different levels in the ceiling. And then also the fact of the lighting is different, the ceiling fans, everything. It does look like they did put some new appliances in the home because if you look at that light fixture, it looks a little bit older. And then if you look at that uh, fan, it's a newer fan that you see. And then also, you have a remote. So that right there that my thumb is by, I know it's kind of blurry, but that is the light. So there you go. And you could just put it high, low. I don't know how high it goes. I didn't really see any difference, but I guess that honestly could be like the ceiling fan doing that. But yeah, you use a remote and it goes right here. Um, this is a living and a dining, I'm gonna assume. And then that's probably just like a little small table or something you could put in there while you're talking to guests or something like that, you know? Um, and then this is a wood, fire, wood burning fireplace. They have a light up there. So if you don't necessarily want your TV right there, you do have a light right there. See, but you can also turn this light off on and off with the, see, with that, as well as the remote. Um, so then you go over here, you have a double door entry into your washer and dryer. This is where your washer and dryer will go. And then over here you have storage. Oh, no, this is not storage. This is the restroom. This is a half bath, which is convenient. Very, very convenient. I love that it's not by the kitchen and it's actually a by the dining room and the living room. So if you have guests or it's dinner time, your kids don't have to go up and down stairs or anything like that. It's all right here. Um, they do have a little bit of cabinetry for your wash stuff and your washroom. And then over here it is the master suite. Now this master suite does seem a little bit smaller than other master suites. I will say that. But you do have in three windows right here along the wall looking towards the, the backyard. And then you have also the same light right here. With the light fixture, there we go. 
there we go so um and then you have a garden tub as well as a stand-up shower um you have dual sinks and then you could put a, st a stool right here for the lady so you have like a small area for a vanity which is nice and then each of you have your own wash face uh towel hangers this is the toilet in the room so the room closes and then um this is a closet oh lord <coughs> What is really going on? Okay, this is the closet. Now, the closet is also pretty small. For it to be a master suite closet. So, in my opinion, the master suite is pretty small. But the home is still nice. Oh, Lord. Now we blurry. There we go. All right. So, then over here, you have the steps. Now, there's only... It's a lot of light. I mean, a lot of uh, windows. So you only have carpet upstairs. And there is two bedrooms upstairs. Um, and then this is a better look at the light fixture. You guys know I love fixtures when it comes to lights. Um, so this is a full bath. So if you have, excuse me, if you have kids, this is the bathroom that they're going to share. This is the additional storage that I thought I was talking about downstairs. But this is basically like a closet up here. have all the towels. You know, toiletries. So this is one bedroom. It's a pretty decent size. The closet. Closet is pretty small. We'll give them that. But it looks like there's another closet. So then you have more space. So that is very, very convenient. Does it go all the way? No, it doesn't go all the way through. It would have been nice if it went all the way through. But you have two closets in here. So that's good. That's really, really good, actually. Because that one closet, I know it's not going to be enough for anybody. And then across the way, you have the other bedroom. Now, this bedroom looks a tad bit smaller than the other one. Um, but I could be mistaken, but it looks a little bit smaller and I'm not mistaken because there's only one closet in here So then one closet Yeah, this bedroom is a little bit smaller than the other one Now I'm going to look downstairs or look over The steps this is what you see right here close to the door you see that there is a huge window right there You can see outside and then the stairs are pretty wide so that's good so if you have anybody that has any type of disability it is actually wide enough for somebody to put a railing up and down who can't you know who can't be on who can't walk up and down the stairs too well that that's actually pretty nice at the fact that it's so wide um and then this is the backyard in the backyard they have a screen door to open it they already have some things out here they have elephant plants elephant ear plants which is nice my grandma used to grow these all of the time and i love elephant ear plants i don't know why but it's just a part of my childhood okay and it's real grass a real tree back here so you can do some type of gardening if you want which is a really nice because you have a garden bed, um, a plot for some plants. Um, here is another plant bed over here. They have a little barn. Pretty sure you could probably use that for storage or something like that. And here is more that you can do with planting. So if you're huge with planting, then this is the home for you. I don't know what type of flowers these are. I'm not really big into planting because I don't have no green thumb I kill my plants by accident so and then over here you have the American flag we have a gate so if you have a dog it works out actually I need to start putting it if it allows pets or doesn't allow pets in the description box so I will put that in there while I'm suggesting pets and yeah you have another garden so basically if you like greenery and you like a scenery backyard or whatever this is really really nice um i honestly will put like little fire pits 
right here and just move this over some instead of just having plants so you could just chill outside but yeah this is what outside looks like all right guys so this is the home in Louisville, Texas. Everything will be down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I know it was pretty quick, but the home really isn't that big, but it looked and feels bigger than what it is because they did so well with actual the square footage. They did a really good job with the square footage. I feel like nothing is cramped. Um, even in the kitchen, the kitchen is a little bit smaller, but the fact that you have that extra room in the back it makes it feel bigger than what it really is and then you have a little island so i think that was good and it looks like they did a little renovations too with um, making it a smart home and then also with the um, appliances um i don't know if i have anything that's my favorite probably my favorite thing is going to be the greenery outside because like i said the um elephant plant ears the elephant ear plants right uh, connect me to my childhood so that's probably my favorite I like the fact that you can actually plant out here you can plant greenery or you could plant flowers because a lot of homes you don't see that because I know I typically show you homes in Dallas so you actually get a you you lose that that green thumb you know so I'm glad we're here you can actually get that back and they have a water hose already connected so like I said this is a really really nice home if you love being in a small um town and then also the fact of quietness um it's a good school district it's louisville isd um and oh no it's not louisville it's um pulaski no it's not pulaski county pulaski county it's freaking arkansas i think it is louisville isd i don't know i really don't know i, I really don't know p c s s d I don't know what that I don't know I don't know even though I'm with the high school out here I don't I don't I don't really remember but you are in Louisville School District that is the school your kids will go to and I personally have graduated from there so I know it's a good school um so yeah hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on Friday also quick little update um I don't know why my vlogs are not uploading on Monday. They take like two, three days to freaking upload. I don't know what's going on. So I may just have to start doing videos Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I personally don't like that. But hey, um, I just want to give you guys an update because I try to do it on Monday. And then I try it again today. It still isn't uploaded. So Thursday is probably the best bet. But I don't know. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye.